Dear Gary, dear Remus, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, let me say how much I regret not being able to be with you during this so important conference. Concerns with the issue of human security runs indeed throughout the history of the World Academy of Art and Science. For more than 60 years, the Academy has served as a global platform for intellectual debate, fostering partnerships, encouraging the creation of knowledge, and launching new global ideas. From the warning of the imminent danger of catastrophic nuclear war to the existential threat of climate change and environmental degradation. And today, the Human Security for All campaign. In the last decades, the World Academy of Art and Science has influenced immensely the shift in understanding development beyond economic growth, expanding the richness of human life rather than simply the richness of the economy. Thus, the World Academy advocacy for focusing on people, their opportunities and choices as a measurement of human progress was one of those critical and timely ideas embraced by the United Nations that resulted in the launch of the human development reports starting from the 90s of the last century and then with the Human Development Index. The current crisis of unprecedented intensity, the COVID-19, the war in Ukraine and the climate change brought about the imperative to mobilize decision makers, institutions, and the general public around the world to promote a comprehensive, integrated, person-centered approach to enhance the security, human rights, and sustainable development of people everywhere, and to address all the critical issues confronting the world today, including peace, human rights, inequality, health, food, education, jobs, safe community and personal safety, energy, pollution, biodiversity, and of course, climate change. This crisis and the consequences thereof has a wake up call to putting human security and well-being to the forefront of public policies. One sure path is investing in people and it starts with education. I do not have any doubts that within the security, human security for all campaign, education plays a critical role. We all know that education is the foundation of human development and our tenth nowadays of human security. It is vital for our health, jobs, gender equality, the protection of the environment, risk reduction, fighting climate change, and for living together in respect for diversity. In other words, education is where our future lies, but not any education. Education that means learning, that is transformative and equitable, that embraces innovation and diversity, and that encourages creativity and possibility to make choices. Education that supports students and other learners in different areas to develop the necessary knowledge, skills, and mindsets to contribute to solving the complex sustainable development challenges and the response to the crisis our world faces. I would not pretend to exhaust all the challenges today regarding the future of education and its place in the human security for all campaign. I believe there will be very profound, deep and enriching debates during this conference. But let me just mention two important points. We need to reconfirm our commitment to sustainable development and the agenda 2030 with education and health at its heart from the point of view of human security. And this is my starting line. If we want to promote a comprehensive, integrated and person-centered approach to security. This is where the importance of goal four of the sustainable development agenda, promoting inclusive and equitable quality education 
and lifelong learning for all comes with all its critical importance for the future. At present, the ways we organize education across the world do not do enough to ensure just and peaceful societies, a healthy planet, and shared progress that benefits all. In fact, some of our difficulties stem from how we educate. A new social contract for education needs to allow us to think differently about learning and the relationships between students, teachers, knowledge, and the world. This is the main idea in the report on the futures of education launched under the auspices of UNESCO by an international commission for education, the futures of education, under the president of Ethiopia, Saleh Wark Zaide. As the report emphasizes, education has long played a foundational role in the transformation of human societies. It connects us with the world and to each other, exposes us to new possibilities and strengthens our capacities for dialogue and action. But to shape peaceful, just and sustainable futures, education itself must be transformed. The report puts forward three essential questions to ask as we look to 2050. What should we continue doing? What we should abandon? What needs to be creatively invented afresh? And I hope all three of these questions will be addressed during today's conference. The report reconfirms goal four of the SDG agenda, ensuring the right to quality education throughout life. And I think this is the most important point, which must continue to be the foundation of the new social contract for education. Long interpreted as the right to schooling for children and youth, it goes further in that it must also encompass the right to information, to culture and science, as well as the right to access and contribute to the knowledge commons, the collective knowledge resources of humanity that have been accumulated over generations and continuously transforming. What I believe we need to emphasize again during the Security for All campaign is strengthening the understanding of education as a public endeavor and a common good. As a shared societal endeavor, education builds common purposes and enables individuals and communities to flourish together. And here I come to my second point about the role of universities. Indeed, Agenda 2030 recognized for the first time that higher education is part of a lifelong learning system. It recognized also that higher education plays an important multifaceted role in the new global development agenda. Universities have a responsibility to lead the debate about the need for a new social contract for education that must not only ensure public funding, but also include a society-wide commitment so that everyone is taking part in the public discussion about education. This emphasis on participation is what strengthens education as a common good, a form of shared well-being that is chosen and achieved together, in the words of the report. It requires, this approach requires a deep commitment to building human capabilities. It is also closely linked to the right to access and contribute to the knowledge commons. And I would say to humanity's shared and expanding resources of information, knowledge, and wisdom. And this ongoing cycle of knowledge creation that occurs through contest, dialogue, and debate is what help us to coordinate action, produce scientific truths, and foment innovation. Universities, I believe, play a critical role in creating this kind of learning environments 
to foster skills, both for achieving the 17th of the Sustainable Development Goals, but also in response to the current global challenges through their teaching, research, pedagogy, thus educating and creating global and responsible citizens in a world that is changing and constantly transforming with unprecedented speed. Universities should teach young people critical thinking and curiosity while embracing change. I believe that in some ways embracing the need for such an approach, sustainable development in times, that it creates important new intellectual discipline. And this is, should be also the organizing principle for universities in our time. Because universities are not now, nor have ever been solely focused on preparing young people for the workforce. It is about values, it is about citizenship, about preparing young people to live in a globalized world, to respond to the challenges and to the risks, to embrace intercultural competencies. From that point of view, the role of universities is critical as their main function at the end of the day is to make significant contribution to society. And I would say in the context of today's conference, also to give young people the competencies to work for the creation of knowledge of global common. And I finish with this. It is inconceivable today to speak about human security without considering the deeply transformative role of education and knowledge. This is why this conference is so important. I wish you good deliberations and looking forward to the conclusions of this important event. Thank you for your attention.